guys this is Chad with living the van life up here in British Columbia this was our camp spot last night up here in the Fraser River Canyon we got a couple vans loaded up LDOT's along for this trip we're gonna explore up into the Thompson River Canyon up into some of the backcountry around Kamloops Lake explore some dirt roads and just enjoy some van life up here in the cold cold white north of Canada Right now it is negative two degrees Celsius with a wind chill factor of negative nine degrees Celsius. That's about uh, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Two Volkswagen vans on the road. Let's go. Oh man, I tell you guys what, this is the kind of stuff that you don't get to see when you're just hauling ass down the highway. When you actually take the moment to stop and explore a little bit, you get to find stuff like this. River Canyon but the railroads that run through here it's got to be an amazing feat to put these railroads in here it's freaking crazy this is really and truly the part that I love about the Pacific Northwest in Western Washington it's much like a rainforest it's really green it's wet a lot of the times but within a few hours we can be out into the wide open desert type terrain like this. I like where you can see for miles and miles. And I feel like that type of terrain really invites exploration because you feel like you can go just about anywhere. It just provides a great opportunity for a change of scenery, which is nice. It's refreshing. It gets you out of the mundane, switches things up, keeps life fresh. a dirt road near Kamloops Lake that heads up into the mountains. We're going to scope this out and see what kind of backcountry we can get ourselves into. start this portion of the video by saying that this is in no way a paid sponsorship nor is it an actual commercial for Max Tracks. These are actually just the tools that we carry on board to get ourselves out of situations like this. So you created ourselves a little project? Um, maybe. Coming out this hill to check out this view for a potential camp spot tonight. When you're a kid you go into a candy store you get uber excited and you go like touching everything right well when you find a little bit of snow on the road you get uber excited and got a little sideways spun her out shit happens you guys have seen Eldad over the years and a lot of videos of living the van life and a couple years ago we started our own youtube channel together adventures unknown and all the crazy stuff that we get into over there i have been so busy with living the van life channel here lately that Eldad's going to be taking over adventures unknown and given his take on adventures like this, taking you guys out fly fishing, and whatever random stuff he gets up to. Go check it out, Adventures Unknown. Genie. Clean up around the tire. We got the max tracks out, slid them all the way as far as it would go underneath the tire. I'm gonna try to get out. Well, that was 
fun. Once again, they save the day. Always good to carry a set on board if you plan on going anywhere off-road. Snow, mud, sand, whatever. A little bit of a climb up here in the snow, but the view up here is just awesome. this is gonna be home for the night we got ourselves a pretty dang sweet camp spot up here overlooking this Thompson River Valley we're gonna gather up some firewood here so we can have ourselves a fire it's supposed to get really really cold tonight but that's part of the fun of coming out here prepared with vans to be able to experiment with this stuff see what we can survive perfect spot to circle up the vans up here we're gonna kick back and enjoy some whiskey just relax Enjoy some van life. is definitely some cold weather camping right here. Put ourselves a nice fire, an amazing view. Got some good whiskey. We're just hanging out. Right now the temperature is 19 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative seven degrees Celsius. The sun just went down, so that temperature is gonna continue to drop. That is for sure. tonight's meal we're doing something a little bit different I was on Amazon a couple days ago before the trip and saw these freeze-dried dehydrated meals in a bag and thought hey you know what this could be a cool opportunity for van life especially coming out here when it's cold outside and you don't have a lot of room to just spread everything out and cook a meal we're gonna add 16 ounces of boiling hot water which we're gonna prep right here in the jet boil we're gonna put it right here inside the bag and we're gonna let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna enjoy the meal right from the bag itself no dishes simplicity a meal in a bag right here for van life this could be a pretty cool opportunity let's try it out and see what happens Water's boiled. First up is lasagna. This is gonna be Eldad's meal tonight. Uh, I don't know, let's get into it and see how this thing works. <laughs> Look at that, lasagna in a bag. <laughs> That's awesome. 16 ounces of boiling hot water. They say to pour it right inside the bag. make sure that the water is all the way down to the bottom then we're just gonna seal that up our meal is now cooking itself right here inside this bag it says to let it set for 15 to 20 minutes let's give it a shot BAM Meal number two, an Italian style pepper steak. This one's a little different brand. We're gonna try this one, see how it compares to the Backpackers Pantry. This one is Mountain House. Let's see how they compare. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Oh, yes. That means my pepper steak is ready to mow down on. I'm actually pretty excited to get into this thing and see how it goes. <laughs> That's crazy. When I first started out this meal, it kind of felt like just a crumbled up bag of chips now that I've added water to it there's like whole chunks of steak in there and it's still warm dude that's so good really that is so good 
van life perhaps just took on a whole another dimension with this right here. I've seen these on the shelves and stuff in stores and I've always kind of thought maybe they were just kind of sort of a joke or who actually really uses these. But now I'm actually kind of disappointed that I didn't discover them earlier. I never knew this was possible. The temperature has now dropped to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 12 degrees Celsius. And honestly, I couldn't imagine wanting to do any more of a meal than something like this. I've got steak, I've got tomatoes and rice. I've got an eating utensil. That's the only mess that I have to clean up in this whole entire situation. Meal in a bag. is the perfect breakfast to wake up to. It's simple, it's healthy, easy to make. The great thing is, right from the bulk food section, it's nice and affordable too. Less than $10 worth, it'll last you definitely more than a week of breakfast. It's perfect for van life. From here, we're gonna pack up camp. We're gonna hit some more of these dirt roads up here around Kamloops Lake. See if we can find some good trails, do some exploring, and find a camp spot for tonight. Hopefully we can find a spot with a view overlooking the lake that'll make for a really nice sunset. As Eldad coined the term hippie tank, this definitely proves these two wheel drive vanigans are freaking hippie tanks.
Well, I'd have to say the morals to this story is preparedness and pushing the limits. It's pushing the comfort zone of what's possible, what you're capable of and what your vehicle's capable of. When you push your limits, that's when you discover what your limits are. And a lot of times if you push beyond what you think your limits are, then you can find yourself in rewarding spots. We don't come out and do these things without being prepared with lots of recovery gear, shovels, recovery ropes, max tracks, snow chains, etc. So when you know you're prepared, then you feel more comfortable pushing the limits. I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely times in this drive out here that I was nervous about it, but knowing that I've got somebody else with me that is as well prepared as I am, and we've got all the tools, the equipment, and the goods to be able to survive out here, get ourselves out if something happens, or if we're stuck here for an amount of time that we've got enough provisions to make it through. And when you've got all of that, then it's good to go out and push your limits, but you gotta be smart about it. But with those kind of risks come rewards like this. And now we're reaping the rewards of this wonderful view out here and we're gonna get to camp out here and enjoy it for the rest of the night. I think my other favorite part about this is the fact that we did it in two-wheel drive hippie vans. These Volkswagen Vanigans being rear-wheel drive with the engines over the back with a decent set of all-terrain tires, you get plenty of traction. And with that, we're able to get these things out into a lot of spots that people won't even take their four-wheel drives and get into. It's the path less traveled, which means you get to have views like this all to yourself. Well, it is time to bring this Canadian adventure to a close. We got to come up here and explore more of British Columbia's backcountry, which every time I come up here, I fall in love with it more and more. Getting out here into the desert, into the wide open expanse, really makes for some great exploring. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it because that's gonna notify you anytime new videos are uploaded to the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. In your comments and feedback, make sure and leave them in the comments section down below. And for any of you guys out there interested in supporting the channel further than just simply watching this video, 
Check out the link down below for my Patreon page. You guys can go check that out and help support the channel even further. And as always, if you guys are interested in any of the gear that you see used here in any of these videos, I do provide a thorough list of that gear in the description down below. Nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you to all of the new subscribers coming on board the channel. It's extremely awesome to see all the positive growth. I really appreciate it. But for now, peace out. Keep on trucking.